Hi, I'm Rick Fenwick and welcome to my drum instructional video and today we're going to be breaking down a simple Latin groove called a bossa nova and bossa nova is Portuguese for new beat. It's a very popular Brazilian rhythm and the particular bossa nova that we're going to be working with today is a very simple bossa nova consisting of three parts played on the hi-hat, the snare drum, and the bass drum. Now we're going to start with the hi-hat because even though it's the busiest part, it's the simplest. It's the simplest because of all the syllables that we're going to be using and counting out loud to keep track of the rhythms, the hi-hat is going to be playing on every single syllable. Those syllables are one and two and three and four four and, consisting of the four numbers or beats or counts and the one word syllable and that we're inserting between each of those beats. So here we go. My metronome is set for 60 beats per minute and we're going to go ahead and play the hi-hat with the right hand in cross grip position, right over left. One and two and three and four and 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 one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one. It's a simple pattern that repeats itself every bar. Now, we're going to go ahead to the bass drum, and that is also a one bar pattern, repeats itself every four counts. And the syllables we're going to play on the bass drum are going to be the count one, followed by the and syllable of two, and the beat three, followed by the and syllable of four, back into beat one. Here we go. One and two and three and four and 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 one two three four one and two and three and four and one. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and cover the right or the left hand clave pattern played on the snare drum in cross grip position, uh, cross stick position. So uh, the syllables that we're going to use for the left hand are going to be beat one, the and of beat two, and then beat four. Now this is a two bar pattern, so it's going to repeat itself every two groups of four counts. That was the first bar, beat one, the and syllable of two, and beat four. In the second bar, we're going to be playing beat two and the and syllable of beat three. So something like this, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and then right back into that same two bar pattern. Here we go. We're going to put it to tempo now. One and two and three and four and one and two 
and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one two three four one two three four one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one so now that we've isolated each of the individual parts of this simplified bossa nova pattern now we're going to couple them together in different combinations let's start with the hi-hat and the bass drum they're both one bar patterns so they'll be the simplest to to practice and to perfect again hi-hat plays all of the syllables that we count out loud and the bass drum is going to be playing beat one the and of two followed by beat three at the end of four. One and two and three and four and 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 one two three four So let's go ahead now and play the hi-hat with the clave, or the left hand snare drum part. This is going to be a two bar pattern because the snare, our left hand, is going to play that two bar pattern. So even though my right hand is going to be playing all of those syllables, it's going to just repeat that same one bar pattern that it normally plays. Here we go. Again. The snare drum is going to be playing on beat one, the and of two, beat four, and in the second bar, playing beat two and the and of beat three. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Four and one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. So we've played the hi hat and the bass drum and the hi hat and the clave. Now, they all had something in common with each other in that when we played the bass drum part, it was doubled with the, uh, the syllables that we played on the bass drum were doubled with the hi-hat. When we played the clave pattern with our left hand on the snare drum, its syllables were doubled with syllables on the hi-hat. Now, when we play the bass drum and the snare drum together, our right foot and left hand, we're going to have some notes that they play together, but then there are going to be some syllables that are only played by the bass drum alone or the left hand clave, snare drum alone. Let's go ahead and talk through this. Now, the first note played is going to be on syllable one, which is going to be shared by the bass drum and the left hand, snare drum. And now the second note is going to be the AND syllable of two. And again, they're both going to play that at the same time. Now on the, the uh, beat three, the next syllable following, that's going to be played by the bass drum alone. Then on the AND, or excuse me, on the four syllable, beat four, the left hand is going to play by itself. Then on the AND of four, the right foot bass drum is going to be playing alone 
and then it's going to play again alone on beat one of the second bar of that two bar pattern. The left hand is going to play on beat two, and then the bass drum is going to play on the and of two and beat three, followed by the left hand playing alone on the and of three. Let's talk through it. It's important to get the sequence down in the right order, no matter what tempo we take. We're not going to worry about the metronome right now. We just want to make sure that we hit everything in the right order. Okay? You work out that coordination. So let's talk through it. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So here we go. 60 beats per minute and we're going to take it to tempo. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and And three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. So we've played all the different combinations of two parts together that we can possibly play. Now it's time to add all three parts together. Now here's the interesting fact that even though we haven't played all of these parts together, we've covered them all. And what I mean by that is we've played the bass drum part obviously with the bass drum. We've played the left hand snare drum clave part with the left hand, of course. And the hi-hat part, which is played by, with all of those syllables, the hi-hat part, which is normally played with the right hand, well, we covered that part by speaking out loud, out loud each of those syllables. So we covered that third part with our mouth, speaking those syllables. Now all we need to do is duplicate what we've already been saying with our mouth and those syllables by all we have to do is duplicate it by putting it in the right hand and playing it as we say it out loud to reinforce our confidence and our ability. So here we go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. When we play the right hand part on different surfaces, we can enhance the bossa nova groove by playing two and four on the hi-hat with our left foot. Here are some variations. One, two, three, four. 